Hello, and welcome to this tutorial where we'll be going over Magnum on Oro in order to create a Kubernetes cluster. Um, so first log into your Oro panel here, uh, go over to Container Infra, and Cluster Templates. Um, so we'll be creating a template first um, with all the details of our cluster. I'll name it Kates Test. Kates is like shorthand for Kubernetes. Um, select Kubernetes here, and I'll disable TLS just so we don't have to deal with any certificate stuff. Uh, node spec, I have this image I uploaded, um, Fedora Atomic, put it in my key pair. Uh, these flavors are going to be for the minions, um, so you can use small ones because you'll be creating a cluster of them, and then for the master, uh, something a bit bigger. Uh, I'll leave all this to default, uh, and I'll set the volume size to about 10 gigabytes. Um, and then for networking here, um, just put in provider, which is our, our public uh, network uh, ID. Uh, and then for DNS, I'm just going to do 8888, and I'll attach floating IPs so we can SSH into all those nodes. Uh, and then after that, uh, we can just hit submit. And this will create a cluster template. And now we can just go ahead and create this cluster. Uh, so I'll name it. Uh, cluster um, and yeah all this is good I'll set up one master and two minions um, and yeah go ahead now so as you can see uh, yeah the cluster is starting to create now so what this actually does is it hooks up to OpenStack heat so Heat will be creating um, all these nodes and pre-configuring them and everything. Um, so if I go here, uh, you can see that that's the cluster template. If I click on here, um, you can see some details. These will all fill in later on while the, while the cluster is created. I'll click on Stack ID here. So this will take me to the actual Heat template. Um, so you can see already that it's starting to create some of this cluster here. Um, it's got the network, the security rules, um, it'll attach a floating IP in the future, and you've got your, your master node there. Um, and then this will be full of details as the cluster is built. Uh, you'll get your API uh, URL and everything like that. Uh, and you can kind of see the, the, the steps that the heat stack is taking in order to uh, create the cluster. And you can see it in real time here. And you can see the full template here. Um, so yeah, just in a few minutes, uh, this will be created and we'll be able to start using Kubernetes. Okay, looks like our stack is done completing. Uh, if you go over to Overview, uh, you'll be able to see the details now of the stack. So you got your master IPs, your minion IPs, and some additional parameters that you can use to customize uh, your stack. So we'll go ahead to the Compute Nodes, and here you'll be able to see the three nodes that we created. Um, the master node and the two minions. So I'll go ahead and SSH into the master node. Okay. Nothing should be running on here yet. So I'll go ahead and create an Nginx pod. Just so we can quickly play around with that. Um, so that should be coming up pretty soon here. Yeah, create a container. I mean, cre container creating. Uh, might take a little bit, and there you go, it's ready. So I'll go ahead and port forward. Oh, sorry, I'll get the details um, of this so we can test out a little curl. So yeah, there's the IP. Um, port forward it. So, I'm just going to grab this IP, and then from another um, server in this network, I'll just do a curl, and there you go, welcome to Nginx. Um, so there you go, the cluster has been created, and you can start using a Kubernetes cluster that easy on Oro. Uh, hope you have a great day.